everyone, this is Mike from Our Way Off Road and we have a special guest here today. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm John Romer and uh, this is my X22 and we thought we would uh, show you today one of the additional mods that I've done recently on it. Uh, in addition to the 50 other ones that we already did a video on. <laughs> so Yeah, this... you can check that out in the description. We'll put a link there for you. And this is a really awesome upgrade to take care of heating of the water in your trailer so we're going to dive into that and i think the best place to show that off is in the shower yeah so basically this mod is for instant hot water it's it's it'll service any any trailer that has a tankless water heater and in particular the x22 that has a tankless water heater this is a way to get instant hot water at the shower and conserve water while showering and at the sinks and so we can step into the uh, the bath and I'll show you how that works. Let's go check it out. Yeah. So here we're in the bathroom and the shower system that, that was originally here had the same, we have the same valve now as we've always had and the same, same shower hose. But what's been added is this simple diverter and this screws right on where the old shower hose used to screw on. And what we've, I've added is this additional line here that goes back to the tank. So when you want to take a shower, you just divert the water by flipping this handle, turn the shower on, and now all the water, instead of going to the shower head, is going back to the tank. That gives the, the uh, water here an opportunity to fire up without running water down the drain at all. So we're not losing any water whatsoever. We're sending it back to the tank instead. So pretty soon, just about now, <clears throat> the water is warm at this valve. So now we just divert, and here it is, and now it's warm right now, coming out of the shower. So we haven't wasted any water going down the drain at all. So the next thing is, during the shower, when you want to stop for a minute and soap up or save water, then you can re-divert, and now the water again is going back to the tank instead of going out the shower and down the drain. But we're not, the water heater is still running, so we can soap up, do whatever we need to do, and then when we're ready for shower again, we just re-divert back to the shower and the water remains warm. There's no cold flush that comes through waiting for the uh, water heater to restart. It's just warm continuously. And you can stop that and restart that any number of times you want. And the water heater remains on and all the water is uh, diverted back instead of going down the drain. So this, then when you're all done, just simply turn it off and that's it. So we've saved all the water that we would have run down the drain and we've allowed ourselves a chance to uh, shut it off during the shower and turn it back on without having a cold blast of, of water. So the other advantage we have here, the other capability we have here is if you want hot water at the sink instantly, then you can simply leave it diverted, turn on the shower. Now nothing's coming out of the shower. It's all being diverted as it was a moment ago but the water heater will fire up now and stand by for whatever we need to do. So, out here at the kitchen sink, now we have instant hot water at the kitchen sink because the same line that feeds the shower feeds this sink. So here it's hot right now. There's no waiting for the water heater to fire up. And this is true here as well as in the bathroom sink. So you can, sim you can use that whole system just to give you hot water at the sink or you can use it to give you hot water at the shower uh, or both at the same time. And then there's one other advantage to it, and that is you can use this system to protect the water heater from freezing. So the water heater is vulnerable to freezing in seriously cold weather when you're traveling, for instance, and you can simply leave it as it is right now with the diverted and the shower valve on, but all the faucets off, and now the water heater is protecting itself by running water through itself and back into the tank. So we're sending a little bit of warm water to the tank, warming it, and we're keeping the water heater warm uh, to prevent freezing, which works well if you're driving in, say, 20 degree air, 50 miles an hour, you got a blast coming over the trailer, and the, the water heater is the most vulnerable place for freezing at, at that point. So, and so the final thing that you can do is you can put a switch on the water heater that will control the pump. It's a very simple op thing to do. And if that happens, then uh, the water heater switch will turn on the pump, which in turn turns on the water heater and the thing will self-protect whether you're in the trailer or not. So you can be driving down the highway and the water heater will protect itself from freezing by turning on as it needs to without sending any water anywhere except back to the tank. 
and you can do that at home or you can do it on the highway or whatever you want. So there's a, a number of functions. One is that you get instant hot water at the shower with nothing running down the drain. You get hot water at the other faucets. You get freeze protection for the water heater, whether you're here or not. It doesn't make any difference. You can be driving or you can be just parked at home. So this is a wonderful mod for saving water. And we've, it's, it's really made a big difference for us because there's only 30 gallons of water in a stock X22 anyway. And so this allows you to at least double the time of your showering, uh, make it much more convenient. You're not in a hurry to get out of there because you can turn it off and on as you wish. And it saves that annoyance of running cold water down the drain while you're wait waiting for hot water to arrive, which is really annoying. And it makes washing dishes or washing up here so much more convenient because it's just hot all the time. You don't have to wait each time you turn it on to rinse something off. It's always warm. So anyway, that's, that's this. Uh, diverter system modification in a nutshell. And the one final point about it is the, the only thing you have to do to make it work is the return line from that diverter valve comes back to the tank and ties into the vent line uh, on, on the tank fill system. So there's only one pipe to run and there's only one T that you have to put in which is right down here behind this panel. That's how you tie it together, and that's the only thing you have to do is just run that line, tee it into the vent line, and you're done. That's it. So anyway, that's this uh, latest mod, and I think it's a really wonderful uh, addition to the trailer. It's saving water and making the whole thing more convenient. Anyway. Well, John, that's a really awesome upgrade that you've done, and that's one that we can do here as well. Yeah. John makes it sound pretty easy, but he's a he's a pro at this now. So if you are somebody that's done a lot of mods and upgrades yourself, it is something that you could, you know, get some guidance on and do yourself. If you've never if you've never done anything before, you know, it's it isn't per se the easiest task, but you have to be a little fluent with some plumbing and cutting holes. <laughs> yeah, and, and it, it's really worthwhile. And, uh, you know, we could answer any questions people might have about it if, if, if anybody needs a little bit of help or something. But, uh, and, and I enjoy sharing it with you guys. It, yeah, it's, definitely. It, it's fun to improve the trailers. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of other modifications too, and I just enjoy doing it. So, oh, yeah. It's yeah. all about making it your own. Yeah, and, and yeah. for your purposes, you know, and yeah. and the cons conservative of the con conservation of the water that you get out of this is a big part. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a big part. We so, like to travel in the winter, and this this allows that. And of course, with limited resources, this is an off road trailer. We almost never plug in. We're pretty much off grid completely. So anything we can do to save more water without making it inconvenient somehow, that <clears throat> it's really good. So yeah. this, this is one thing that does that. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, Mike. Yeah. It's, it's a fun sharing <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you too. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope if you have any questions, put them in the comments and please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see our upcoming videos. Have a wonderful day.